Hey guys, it's Aya IT, and this is another YouTube takeover for Nelly from the B. And tonight I'm going to be just doing a little skincare routine because I feel like I've developed an actual skin routine over the past few. Oopsies, excuse me. Um over the past few months in general because i didn't have a nighttime skin routine i usually had just had a morning at night time i'll just wash my face moisturize and that's it but now like i've gotten more into the self-care well i've been into the self-care but not for like face like body wise body scrubs african net um soap bars and all that stuff like i was all into it body lotion body butters like mm love them but like this is for my face and i feel like i've gotten like more of a routine of it and it's actually been helping clear out like lessen the pimples breakout lessen breakouts and also help slowly um take out like the you know when you pop a pimple and it leaves a black mark i love popping my pimples for some reason so like i got plenty of them but yeah but this is gonna be like my nighttime skin routine that i've been doing for the past few weeks and I guess I'm gonna talk too, because why not? And yeah, I'm kind of boring right now because in person I'm really like hyper. And I got a lot to say, but right now, like, I don't have really much to say. Um, yeah, but oh, this is my friend, like, Nelly actually. She's the one who showed me this brand. She has the serum and this is this hydrating spray and i like spraying it on my face and just leaving it on for like until like it soaks up mostly it's so nice and you can spray this during the day like in between the day if you feel like you're dry spray that bitch mm -hmm. and i also got the serum this is what i cleanse my face with so nice yeah i feel like i'm a sponsor that's how i feel right now what should we talk about it is almost my birthday 19 i'm not gonna lie to y'all i didn't think i was gonna make it this far oh i didn't think i was gonna make this make it this far but i've actually been enjoying life more been making money and i plan on doing something I'm not gonna say what because like I need I need to finish looking into it and then I'm gonna start it. I can't talk about it yet. But yeah, I've been like planning like what to do with myself because college is there. College isn't bad, but it's like you need time. I me personally, if I'm not mentally secure, I'm not gonna do school because I'm just stressing myself more. And me, I actually need time to study. Who's outside? Sorry. <clears throat> I need time to study and I need to be in a good space. So for me, if like I know I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna not do anything. Like I'm not even gonna enter because why if I know I'm gonna fail, why am I gonna start? I'm setting myself up for failure. If I know I have a chance of doing good, duh, I'm gonna go, but like <sighs> like knowing in the beginning that I'm gonna fail, it's not that like I see myself as a failure. I'm sorry guys, pause. Oh, I saw something. I don't know what that is, too. What is that? I give up. I don't know what that is. Is this. I'm over here like, what is this thing in front of my thing? I'm like, I don't even know how this hole was. Like, how the hell did you even make that? I don't know, but anyways. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh, it's not that I don't believe in myself. It's more like I know where I'm at. Like I know myself. Like I know myself too well is the problem. Like that's the issue. So it's like if I know something about me, I'm not gonna set myself up and fail knowing I was gonna fail. I don't know. If I know I'm gonna fail, I'm not gonna do it. But like if it was something unexpected, that's different. But like yeah. But, mm -hmm. and I feel like, guys, this is specific for the girls 
who don't know how to take care of themselves yet i'm not saying this in like a bad rude way but like in a way of like you literally do not know like you want to take care of yourself but you literally do not know because you was not taught i feel like it's good to like research 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 one thing about me i'm a google google is my bestie i know you shouldn't always believe what you see on the internet but google is my bestie i love google me and her like inseparable because one thing about it i'm gonna search search until i can find the truth so that's what i be doing so when you learn more like example like skin wise when you learn out what your break on like what breaks you out what's not good for you like you know allergies it's like allergies you know you can't have this because you're allergic you go like going to like i don't know what happens but like something gonna happen to you it's like that kind of like learning what your body can take in and what your body can't take in because there can be foods like grease like fried food can cause like breakouts on your face like greasy foods like certain things you eat in general like outside like chips junk food fast foods they can break you out so it's like me knowing that i don't eat them as much as i used to like i still do every now and then no don't worry but like i eat it less now you know but yeah it's the same with my insides because i used to get bloated a lot in in one of the the other takeover videos i did for her for another from the bean i talked about kefir go look at it i feel like it's a great way if you like creamy sour fermented stuff kefir is the thing for you if you don't know what it is go get it but yeah and then there's this baby right here always have one in hand kombucha always and this is the health aid brand strawberry what strawberry glow i love me some kombucha ever since she showed me what these were i'm obsessed like i don't even drink regular drinks no more like you would think i'm insane like i don't drink soda like oh my gosh also i'm sorry guys i am going through a crisis sorry anyways i want to talk about um let's talk about kombucha she showed me what kombucha was i dare forgot what i was talking about soda yes oh my god guys i tried this one thing that i was like i saw on tiktok and i haven't tried it yet because i was like i just like didn't I didn't remember and I was like I'm not too like on it right now but one day I went to Target me and my friend Nelly we went to Target and I saw it and I was like oh, I might as well try it because like I was like kind of saving up and shit so I was like you know what I'm gonna just get this one and see how it is with my wheat thins yeah but um I got it it was the Olipop soda so good it tastes like regular soda but it's good for you it's kind of like kombucha, but soda. Literally soda. Probiotics. That's what it is. This one's fermented. This is like fermented tea. I don't know if that's this one's like that, but it's kombucha is like is fermented tea. So it's like Olipop is just probiotic soda. Really good. It's good for you. It tastes good. So I, I feel like being healthy is expensive. It is. Because when you actually sit down and look around... And compare all the junk food all the stuff that isn't good for you are cheaper compared to what is good for you i'm sorry my face is dry and it would be ow i just cut myself but yeah uh, i was saying yeah it's cheaper junk food is cheaper than actual healthy food and it comes to show that's why like sometimes i guess it makes sense why when people are saving they go to junk food as an alternative because it's cheaper. I don't want me some cheap shit too. So obviously I'm gonna go for it. And it just makes more sense. But for me, ever since I started eating healthier, I can't go back. Because when I eat junk food, when I eat so much fried food, especially before I go to bed or like didn't have no kombucha or kefir, I feel sick. I feel like I can throw up. I do throw up. Like in the next morning, I will throw it up because it's like my body is not used to it anymore. My body is used to the healthy things. And it's just like, girl, what did you think this was? You thought you could go free? Go back? <laughs> yeah, right. So that's how my body be reacting to, like, junk food nowadays. That's why I don't eat too much of it. 
if it's not like healthy or like a full meal type of food if it's not like home cooked type of meals i can't really eat eat food like a whole bunch of mcdonald's i can't do that i have to eat it in like little portions or oh it could also be a fruit bowl oh i saw you bowl oh, so good y'all should try acai's if you haven't look what up what acai is look where it has where acai bowls they be selling them they are expensive i'm not gonna lie to you but it is worth your while because the first time i ever tried it the energy i got after eating it it's like a for me in my head i think of it as like a kind of type of fruit bowl in a way but um i know that's not what it is but that's how i think of it but um it's really good it gives you a lot and i think it gives you good energy because it doesn't give you like the type of energy sugar give be giving you the sugar rushes it's like actual energy you can i don't know how to explain it you don't have to google it you don't have to google it but it, i think it's good acai's are so good till this day i love eating them i like getting the smoothies from the places i go to they're also good because sometimes i feel like i can't eat a lot so in alternatives i just get the smoothies and they be having the same things the bowls do just like smoothie wise you know yeah but it's really good and me personally on my healthy journey i prefer sorry i prefer to look into them on my own compared to just like having someone telling me this and that i don't know that's the one thing i will sit down and learn about like healthy stuff healthy foods what is good for me for my skin body all that something i will sit down and learn sorry Ooh. sorry um yeah that's something i would definitely sit down and learn i feel like when you're bored or feeling down depressed i think you should go look into like self-care self-love because i feel like it's a booster at first you're gonna feel like why am i doing this i don't deserve this that's how i felt because i was a depressed girly a very very depressed girly so like i know how it feels and i feel like learning about self-love self-care eating wise skin wise body wise like going to the gym wise it it's actually like all of that builds up to who you are like who you are going to become that's how i feel that's why when i see people let themselves go i'd be like i get where they're coming from but you're just not trying hard enough at the same time because there's definitely alternatives to get yourself like the vitamins you need the um minerals you need like like eating wise yeah that's in skin wise there's just the simplest things you can do and it will help your skin become just a little bit better example aloe vera i swear let me show you this this doesn't have aloe vera in it it's like turmeric pads but where is my aloe i have one full of aloe but i don't use it as much as i used to right here i need to i need to go back i love my baby it's just like this is aloe vera gel. when i just started got into my skincare routines or like started loving my skin my face specifically i went to this baby aloe this these ones from because they all come korea i think they all come from korea or whatever this one's from amazon this one i bought in store it was my first one i think this one was my first one or my second one and this one was like it changed my life like my skin started feeling more moisturized even if it didn't last as long as it, i wish it did but like it was actually a good starter up to get like clean skin get like i guess i don't know it was just like good for the skin in general like this bitch toss this on day night like you don't need a routine with this hoe you forget to clean like not to clean but to like moisturize your face toss this bitch on because that's what i used to do and actually it did help personally speaking and I feel like this is a good starter up into getting used to like doing something over and over every day for your skin. Um, yeah, that's how I feel though. That's how I am. Because I love me a natural care thing. Yeah. Oh, but while I was talking, y'all saw me put this on. 
I just got this. This comes with the morning one too. It's like vitamin C and hydro. Hyaluronic acid. Sorry. Because there's a hydro something acid. I don't know. But hyaluronic acid and vitamin C for the morning. And that's what I use in the daytime for my routine for the serums. And this is the nighttime one with retinol and knee. Me a sign. Yeah, that's the name. So yeah, I use that as my night serum now. I just started actually this week, like two days ago. Um, so far it's actually nice. I like it. Um, and I had put this cream on my face just now, repair cream. Because my skin is still like kind of fucked up, so it's like. I'm gonna do what I need to do. Get my skin together, shiny and glossy and clear. Yeah. Next, what am I gonna put on my face? This one. This is perfect cream. I use this at night. I don't know if you're supposed to use this. Oh, excuse me, in the morning, but I use this at night as my night routine because I have the um deep moisturizer. So that's what I use in the morning when I go out. But yeah, yeah, but as, as a girly, as an anchor child, actually, if you don't know what an anchor child is, I was going to say go to Google, but I was like that, but an anchor child is <clears throat> when one of your parents or like both, I don't know, have you for a visa, technically, that's what I am, my purpose in life, that's what I always thought my only purpose was when I found out. It was a whole crisis. But yeah, I was like, as an anchor child, I feel like finding yourself is really important. And like, not in, like, and I feel like people don't understand that it takes time. And I was going to say effort, but like, it does take effort too. But like, it takes a lot of time in like, um, what's it called? patience because i feel like in the self-love journey people don't talk about enough how like you will still break down you'll still feel depressed you will still feel like you're not worthy but when i say fake it till you make it it's a real thing because though i used to not not love myself like i hated myself like you would think it's a joke i got seasonal depression especially before my birthday that's what i've been going through recently low-key i'm not gonna lie i didn't realize until yesterday i was so sad because i was like why am i like this but like even though i'm going through like my seasonal depression or whatever i'm still taking care of myself i feel like once you get into the habit of taking care of yourself even knowing that you don't feel like you deserve it you're gonna start feeling like you deserve it because it's like oh we keep doing this over and over we're getting better it's like a routine until it's like unconsciously something you just do unconsciously you're gonna be like oh i love myself oh i'm beautiful like be like my hair's not done i look like a fucking spider i'm not gonna explain why but i look like a damn spider but like even though my hair's like that that doesn't mean i'm ugly like in my head i'm like it's okay because i'm about to get my hair done i might not have my hair done now but i'm gonna have it done later Like, it's just, like, even though right now, I'm, like, not the most, I don't feel like I'm the most best, my best self, I am my best self. Like, I may not feel like it, but I am. Because I continue to keep pushing myself to do what I usually do when I'm not feeling down depressed. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. But, like, I feel like, guys... If you really do feel down, look into, like, what makes you happy. But, like, there's going to be a point in, like, the things you do that makes you happy doesn't make you happy anymore. Like, you're going to feel like it doesn't make you happy. But it's, like, to the point where, like, no, it feels so repetitive. It feels like you're just forcing yourself to do it. And that's okay. Because, like, I feel like people don't talk enough about the journey of self-love of, like, how you're still going to be sad. You're still going to be depressed. But it's okay. What matters is that you're pushing yourself to be better, even on your down days. 
because after you get out of like the stage of the depression like however long it takes you're gonna be like i'm happy that i continue to take care of myself on my lowest level at my lowest level because i don't know i feel like that's very important to know because the way i used to try to rush myself love like i literally was disgusted with myself at how fast i try to make myself love myself but like it takes time i feel like it takes months years if it has to because you will never reach that highest peak where you feel like okay i'm healed out like i'm healed and i feel like that's after like maybe you done went through it's trials and tribulations like you will be going the trials with yourself you will but you're strong so you won't get through it because i'm strong and i got through it so you will too but yeah i'm just talking now i keep forgetting what i say but i really do mean it though keep pushing yourself even on your honest days you'll get there you get there because i feel like i'm still not there personally but like i'm in the journey of getting there like i know my future will be bright in a rich mansion do not play with me because i'm gonna go stay here you see my curtains you see my curtains i don't even know what this is like back in the day it would have been cute but i feel like my issue with this is that it's too short this way it's too short that's my problem my biggest problem with it. it's not even a pattern the pattern is all right if it was in my living room not in my room but that's what i have right now like i'm like i can't be worrying about this i used to have major anxiety so bad like and i'm like an imperfect perfectionist I put it on in the wrong order. This is my eye cream. I forgot. It's all right. Shit, it's gonna still work, won't it? But anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm a perfect imperfectionist or whatever that's called because I'm not shit to be perfect. That's where my anxiety came from. It was when I had to accept that not everything is gonna be perfect. Like nothing is actually perfect for real. You just have to enjoy life and make life what you want it to be. If you're not the one making life what you want it to be, who is? Who is? That's the question. Because if it ain't you, then it ain't it. Like, it's not going to happen. It's not. So, yeah. Yeah. My lips are dry. But, yeah. That's how I feel, though. I don't know. I just feel like when they can be, like, be delusional, too. I feel like it's not being delusional, though. Because if it's something you're building up to in the future, you're not being delusional. You're just too early on the ideas. That's what I think being delusional is from, like, thinking too early of my ideas that are going to be big in the future. That's what it is. I don't know. That's what I believe. Because loving yourself is something that you have to build up to. It's not something you're going to get to overnight. Not even, like, in a month. At all. No. Because my wardrobe is still not what I want it to be. But it starts... It's not even starting. But, like, I'm accepting it. Like, the clothes I have, I'm, like, I'm fine with this. Because it makes me look good. And I feel good in it. I don't feel like I'm the highest of myself yet. But that's alright. Because I'm going to be. I'm going to be. So, yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel. Well, anyways um yeah so i feel like you should fake it till you make it for real even if you cry every night about it because i did that i used to cry every single night every single night and this was like a year ago literally a year ago from now a year ago i used to be sad and depressed and cry every oh no it wasn't a year ago from now um longer a little bit longer like a few a year and a few months before Cause around this time I was, y'all around this time last year, ugh, I think that was my little. It was it's a, it was a little era, era. I feel like that's when I truly started to get myself together. Around this time last year, so seeing myself now this year, I'm actually really proud of myself that I made it this far, and like I'm still continuing, you know, like I didn't give up and I didn't stop. So yeah, I think that's what it is, but.
What does that say? Y'all, I keep forgetting. Like, I keep going back and forth. This is an overnight mask. I peeped that I didn't think I was supposed to wear this. But at least my face is moisturized. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I feel like even if you have to cry all night, every night, to make yourself love yourself. And you have to accept what happens. What happened in the future is not going to happen in the... Excuse me. What happened in the past is not what's going to happen in the future. And if it's a repetitive, you have to get out of it. You have to get out of the cycle. Get out of the loop. That's what it is. Because I used to have a cycle. I got out of it. You have to push yourself to get out of it. Meet new people. Meet new people that will change you for the better. Don't meet new people. <sighs> I don't know how to explain this. Because you know how, don't be judgmental. Don't judge others. If you meet somebody, but it's not like the typical what everybody expected you to be with type thing. Don't judge it because of that. Dumb because of that. If they make you a better person, feel better about yourself, love yourself, and you love them. And they're also trying to grow. Not trying, are growing then I feel like that's your person or somebody that should be in your life. Even if you don't talk to them every day, just have them to just have a conversation every now and then. Because, like, I feel like people are overdoing it when they be like, you have to talk to somebody every day. No, you don't. No, you don't. If you love the person enough, they love you enough, y'all talk. See, I have a good friend, my best, one of my other best friends. I haven't, I don't, I haven't seen her in, like, a year. Not a year. In a couple of months and i need to see her and i be feeling that bad because i have to go see her but i haven't went to see her yet so it's like i feel like i'm a bad friend right now in this type of era and i need to go talk to her about it and apologize because like it's not it it's not so it's like that's where my fault is but like if they love you you love them and as long as like you both growing and they don't feel like oh i feel like this is not gonna work out then i feel like you should keep them around yeah, that's friendship wise though. <laughs> but always try to keep growing yourself, growing, bettering yourself. Even if you're crying every night, feeling depressed every day, sad, exhausted, get yourself up once a week at least. Start getting up once a week. After a month, start trying to get up twice a week. Try being outside more than being inside. I don't care what you do. Go to the park. Sit down on a bench. Lay down on the bench if you have to, if you're going to be outside. Because at least you're outside. Because the more you're being outside, when you meet those people who are like hella, hella extroverted, and they'll be like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Or like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Those people will brighten you just for that one moment. You don't even got to know them. They don't got to know you. That moment is going to be like, wow. That was just like, wow. Like, And you're going to be like, hmm, maybe I should do this more. Maybe I should try going other places. Because for me, I need to start going more places. You see how yellow my nails are? Sorry. Going places, like going out more. like Just to like small little places. Because I don't go nowhere for real, for real. But like, at least I'm outside. Not doing nothing bad, but like I'm outside. Every now and then. Eating, drinking. Not drinking alcohol. But like going out for drinks to like little cafes boba shops you know do a little something something to like lift your spirits up because once your your spirit is lift up like every now and then you're gonna be like that's like a breath breath a breath of fresh air is that how you say it yeah it's like a breath of fresh air so go outside go sleep on a bench if you have to sleep on the damn floor if you have to sit down sleep on it but be careful make sure there's someone with you who could protect you if you're weak i'm weak somewhere there for you but yeah but if you don't have nobody it's okay love yourself because when you love yourself first everybody will love you and it's an actual thing and there's haters definitely haters even if you love yourself so ignore them bitches because they don't do nothing do their pay right do they put food on the table for you? No. So it's like, when a hater says something to you, you gotta be like, what do you bring to my life? No money? No food? No water? 
so opinions doesn't matter your opinion will matter to me if you're paying my rent you are paying my clothes you are paying my bags if you're not paying nothing you are nothing because the fuck i don't know that's my opinion because i can't i don't do haters but yeah but that's the end of our little ted talk today about self-love and yeah that's just me babbling so if you're depressed sad start your little self-care journey like self-love journey or self-care just call it self-care like don't even start the self-love until you actually care about yourself because love is different than care because if you care you will care to like feel moisturized because once you feel moisturized once in your life you can never go back because when you go back you'll feel like crap sorry but yeah yeah but like start your little self-care journey if it's just to step outside breathe sit on the balcony sit on the streets i used to sit down on the curb in front of my house just to get a fresh air because i don't like being stuck inside because i will sleep until i sink so that's the problem so don't do that if you gotta sit down in the curb in front of your house go sit down in the curb in front of your house you gotta sit down on the bench at school sit down on the bench you gotta sit in the field sit in the field you gotta walk the track walk the track i used to do all that because once you start getting used to like just being outside in air i think you will appreciate being i don't know being in nature because i love nature i love just walking around in grass and shit so it's like personally it's a nice fresh breath of air and make sure you're drinking your water and yeah and that concludes my video and i don't know if i i showed y'all this right this is moisturize my lips every now and then i have more but not these but like just lip stuff i don't know where they are i'm a little yeah. oh i love this brand the better the lip what moisturizing lip therapy i love these so good from a beauty kit store beauty supply store yeah but yeah that's the end of my little video go outside go sleep on a bench and care for yourself just care for yourself and that's it i feel like that's the start of the journey because once you start you never you're not actually ever stopping because when if you feel like you did stop it's not true because you're still thinking about it you're like how am i supposed to get better at myself it's okay that i still and let me tell you it's okay to take a pause from the self-care journey for like one to two days like a week at max a week is too too much but like maximum a week it's okay to take a pause because when you're starting you still need a break to breathe to sulk and everything because once you get it out you're gonna feel so much better and that's the actual conclusion of this video bye bye and i'm signing out